Hey there Transformers fans, this is Transy72, 72 coming back at you with another Transformers review. Tonight we're going to be looking at Dark of the Moon Autobot Jolt. And unlike the predecessor Jolt, this one is gray with see-through and kind of like an aqua color, as you can see. He has uh, a mech tech weapon, like so. Now mine is a little on the battle damage side. The one door, window door, came loose. So try to imagine that that's not there. <laughs> I imagine that the door is there. Um, still has one working mech tech port, as you can see. I'm thinking about turning it into a convertible, trying to get the windows back in here, and maybe taking this off. Then he won't have any mech tech ports, but that's what happens when you do customization. But uh, it's your standard mech tech weapon, uh, as you can see. It's kind of hard to see on this camera. I'm trying new ways on doing videos with new lighting techniques. I've got two or three different lamps and uh, just doing the best I can with what I have. Um, so anyway, back to Jolt here. Believe it or not, Jolt is a little on the difficult to transform. As a matter of fact, he's one of the most difficult transformers to transform of the Dark of the Moon line. Even worse than Skids and Mudflap, which were, you know, dif difficult to figure out at first. Basically, the first thing you want to do with this guy is you want to turn him upside down, like so. And you can see how he has... Uh, these like claw like hands basically what you want to do is you want to pull one arm out at a time like that sorry about the camera like so and it kind of wraps around the back like that and the same thing here pull out like so. So you look a little bit like that. Okay, then the next thing you want to do is you want to come to the front of the car and you want to separate it like this. Just kind of pull it like that. Then take your thumb and middle finger and hold the back of it like so. And you want to unhinge. that side and that side and each leg pulls out like so okay next thing you want to do is take in most cases both doors or windows pull this one out fold this in and keep it folded kind of up like this now the next thing here's some of the tricky stuff right here when I first started to transform this, I noticed all these different like things, and this is the way I think is the best way to do it. You take the wheel, kind of push the wheel up like that, so it's like flat to the ground. Next thing you want to do is push this up. You'll hear a click noise, and you want to take this piece and push this piece all the way up, or down in this case, and you want to do the same thing on this side. Turn it around. Pull, twist, like so. And there you have the beginnings of what Jolt looks like. Now, next thing you want to do is you want to come up here to the top. And it's still not going. Okay, you want to take these two pieces here, pull them out like so. Take this piece here, pull and push back. And then you want to take the head and pull the head around until it goes, makes a click noise. 
and you take the bottom piece and I hear another click nose, it, noise as it clicks in. And you kind of want to take these tail lights and kind of twist them and they kind of form like an evil face. Almost like the fallen here, the two eyes and the nose and so forth. Now, these part is, for whatever reason, is stuck, but this is supposed to go kind of down like the other one went down. There we go. And the, the bottom wheels can allow you to put them in different kinds of poses, like so. And then his mech tech weapon can attach to either arm, like so. And you gotta put them in little stances where he's getting ready to shoot. Starscream or whoever out of the sky like that. Kind of a cool pose. Okay, let's take a look at some articulation. Now his arms are connected to these door panels and they are on like a ball joint. And they go 360 around or however you want. His uh, elbows are pre-bent but then they have a swivel underneath. Also, he has another joint, which is kind of like a half joint, and this thing always sl slips off too. The arm always comes off, just like on mud flap there. Okay, same thing over here. The door is connected to the arm. Head is on a little tiny ball joint, and it it can turn 360. There is where there was light piping, but the eyes have been painted, and there goes his arm again. Oh. And he was working just fine before. Now he wants to give me a hard time because we're on camera. All right, there we go. Okay, uh, waist articulation. There's no waist articulation. Legs are both on ball joints. They move independently from each other. He's double jointed in the knee, partly due to transformations. He's got several feet, back feet. The wheels act as a platform. Um, and yes, they also rotate on top of, so you can put them in all kinds of crazy poses. Now, a uh, little backstory about this guy real quick. In the in the comic book, the prequel comic book before Dark of the Moon, it has a lot of the characters from Revenge of the Fallen, or I should say the subline of Revenge of the Fallen, the Nest subline, also the um, Hunt for the Decepticons line. A lot of those characters, which were not in the film, ended up being in the comic books. Now Jolt was in the second film, but as you probably notice, like the twins, he was missing from the third movie. Um, those that haven't read the comic book, he was apparently killed in the comic book before the movie, the uh, Dark Moon movie. I don't know if that's the true story arc or Michael Bay just didn't want to use him or I'm not sure if there was a thing with the the Volt Chevy Volt company or what but he was absent in the films too bad because he was a really cool character anyway um, this has been my review of Dark of the Moon Jolt bye for now